Hi everyone, this time we're going to look at a step in a dive. So it's a classic technique that's vital that you learn at a young age um, to get the most out of your dive. We'll do both sides and it's just a breakdown of the technique from the actual catch to the step and the dive itself. So all you can do, obviously all you need is a ball. All I'm going to do is just pop it up like that, step in and dive through the ball. Do both sides, pop it up, bounce, step, dive through. So if you break it down again, again, want the W shape, so thumbs touching as you can catch the ball slightly, hands in behind it, so you're not like that. Again, similar to the high catch, elbows are slightly bent as you step in, catch it in front, and you want to take it on a diagonal. So if I do it side on, you want to take it on a diagonal there. So you're not stepping sideways like that, and you're not stepping forward. Your step is your nearest, your nearest leg to the ball. So if you start uh, diving on your, if you're diving from your right to your right, sorry, you're gonna step with your right and push off this leg. Because if you're pushing off this leg, you're gonna get maximum distance there. So step, push, and through. Again. With your left, you want to step with your left, push through the ball like that. So you're actually taking the ball forward. So if you imagine, if you imagine the ball's coming towards you there, if you try and dive slightly backwards and parry the ball, or you drop the ball, if you drop it, the ball's going to go back. If you're stepping forward and you're catching the ball, the ball's going to go forward. Another good one for young lads and good, young lads and lasses. You can practice it on your knees just to break it down. So you can step with your right knee. You don't even have to drop the ball. You can just step with your right knee, keeping the ball in your hands. Step with your left, like that. And you're just breaking down the technique. And the most important thing is, you're taking the ball in front and forward. So if you do drop the ball, you're dropping it forward, it's gonna go away from goal. And that's the basis around the technique. So we'll do a few more. Pop it up, step, push, and dive. The last part of the technique is, as you take the ball, so this is a mid-air dive, so it's, the ball's in the air, so it's imagining the ball's coming to you around the mid-height, is the landing. So, obviously, as you land, you want to land softly, and you want to cushion the ball onto the floor. So to take it, you want to cushion it. So your, your left hand is around the back of the ball and your right hand is around the top of the ball, like that. If you're landing hard onto the, onto the ground, obviously it's more chance it's going to drop out. So if you don't have that control, as you take a ball from there to there, it'll just pop out like that. But if, as you land, you cushion it onto the floor, you use the floor secure the ball like that. So we'll do a few in full. So break it down. Step with your nearest leg. So if you're diving to your right, your right leg. So you step diagonally forward, not too big. So you're off balance if it gets a deflection or something like that. You might be a bit off balance and you can't move. Not too small because then you don't get the distance you need. You need a decent size step diagonally forward and you're pushing off your right leg like that. Oh getting as much distance as you can, taking the ball, controlling it. So if you're diving to your right, your right hand's around the back of the ball, your left hand's on top of the ball and you're using the floor to secure it. So you've got the floor, your right hand, your left hand, and that should secure the ball. So just the basics of a step and a dive. Like I say, you can use your knees, but it's just getting that technique and that'll, that'll what uh, look after you in the end. So. That's uh, step in a dive.